Boy, it sounds like a big party out there. I'm missing out or something. These birds are having a grand old time down at the pond. Watch out for snakes. Jeez. Holy cow. <laughs> and they're off. Now look at here. This is the remnants, I believe, of a little tree that was chopped off by the beave. Yes, sure enough. You see that? He just chowed down on it. There's not too many trees around here. You see something like that, you know there's beaver around. It almost looked too sharp for a beaver to chop that off, didn't it? They got some sharp teeth, let me tell you. Oh, I was supposed to be down here looking for turtles. But I keep getting sidetracked <laughs> with watching the birds fly up in front of me. I'm not seeing any turtles. And you know what? When you walk up on them, you got to be really careful too because they'll just plop down in front of you like nothing flat and you probably miss them anyways. You got to be stealthy, but I'm not seeing anything. Surely not. Oh well. That's okay. Now you might be wondering, what the heck do the beaver eat? Because usually you see, you see uh, willow tree, not willow trees, but you know, the, the different trees next to ponds and in the, out in the woods. Well, I don't see any of those around here, do you? These are all dead. These are all dead. But you know what these beaver eat? I've seen it. They go down in the shallows and they pull up moss and seaweed type stuff and they chow down on that. You know, they adapt to their environment. And in another pond, I've seen them eat the long reeds next to the shoreline and they'll eat those. And I've never seen that before either. So just because it doesn't look like a habitat for beavers, you always want to kind of check out things anyways because you never know what you're going to find. I'm just going to walk up here a little bit further and see, see what we got going. Ah. <laughs> Here's another one. Oh goodness. They're just they're just all over. Ah, I can't I can't carry them all. I just can't carry them all. I don't know what to do. Hey, I'm going to have to leave him there. There's another one over there. There's, there's one there. There's another one over here. Here's a couple more. Oh, oh that was kind of cool. I missed that. Somebody was walking over there and all the birds flew up. And you see all the wings in the sun. See these? 
getoink, 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 getoink. They're everywhere. I could bring a bucket out here. There's another one. You know, you're not supposed to be out on these areas like this. Because you're not supposed to be destroying the trails or anything. And, you know, if everybody knew about all these golf balls, you'd have quite a few people out here messing up the nature. But it's okay for Joe, let me tell you. Joe's okay. I'm not going to hurt anything. I'm going to stay on the trails. A different perspective from way over here, don't you? Listen to all these birds over here, would you? There's, there's still quite a few over here, even. See how they're fluttering like that? Can you imagine seeing about 50 or 60 of those flying towards you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I gotta have a little fun once in a while. I... Now see that stump there? Where did it go? Right down there. My golly, I think that one was was chopped off by a beaver too. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. Who knows when. You know what I say? The beavers were here first. Leave them alone. You know, they just mind their own business. This is kind of a landlocked pond anyways. It's not like, you know, man built that trail along there and beefed that up. The beavers didn't. So what can the beavers do now at this point? Nothing. So just leave them alone. Boy, these birds are full of energy, I must say. They have a feeling the weather's gonna change and then they're gonna knuckle down and buckle down for the winter. I don't know what they do. They probably sit in the, in the side channels and hunker down underneath this brush and stuff and along the sides and the weeds and stuff. You know, they're not like this all winter, I doubt. I saw an egret go down in there, but I think he's probably on the other side of that brush. It's all right. It's all right. You've seen one of those before. Yes, I've seen the mallards here before. Why do I get all worked up about seeing them again? I don't know. You know, in the summer, we saw, we didn't see as many mallards. We saw more Canadian geese. And you know what? They're still around here at some other local ponds, closer to the golf course on the other side. Yeah, on the other side. And they stay there all winter. Some of them don't fly south for the winter. They stay. Right here. There's plenty of grass on the golf course. And it, you know, it gets, it gets cold, but it doesn't get as cold as some places here in California. You 
That's pretty. Well, there's lots of reeds around here. <laughs> here comes more of them out of here. Oh, there's the egret. Did you see him? He's right there in front of us. There he goes. Along with the other mallards. There they go. You know, they sensed danger. Hey, guys, it's just Joe. It's... <laughs> now that's what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, yeah. I didn't do anything. Wasn't that amazing? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check that on my computer. That was cool. You don't get those shots every day. Wow! Look at that. It's like when one bird goes, they all go. I mean, if you if you were to look at just this right here, you would you would say, you know what? There's no birds around here. There's no birds around here. There goes some more. Those didn't see me the first time because they were behind this this clump of reeds. Now there's probably really no, no more around here. Oh, here's a couple over here. Some stragglers. Some stragglers. There goes some more. We're just cleaning them out, aren't we? We're just cleaning them all out. Look where they all are now. If I were to go over there, and kind of run along there. Oh, that would be awesome to see them fly out of there, wouldn't it? Might have to sneak back there. I got a little ways to go to get back there, don't I? I'm gonna have to be careful when I go back. Man, there's a ton of them over there. That's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.